Hello everyone, welcome back to the beautiful Texas Gulf Coast and for those of y'all new to the channel, welcome to MDLR Fishing. We have a, uh, a decent day ahead of us. There's rain in the forecast, 20% chance uh, throughout the day and uh, high winds coming in out of the east, but we are still in search of our first jack of the season. Hopefully we're going to be able to make that happen. And uh, I'm also hoping to be able to catch a Spanish mackerel so that we can have a decent lunch. So let's see what happens. All right, let's get these rods together. All right, let's go, son. We gotta get the fish bag. Oh, God. Out there, you see him? You see that little that weird yeah in the water? Yeah. Let's just keep watching it. I didn't I got the tail end of it. Something happened and it wasn't a pelican. I don't know. We'll keep Yeah, I guess we can make a, a quick cast. It's reachable. Okay, no takers. What we'll do is we'll continue keeping our eyes open. As we were walking out, I saw a big blow up at the peripheral and uh, there was no pelicans near it, no dolphins surfacing or anything like that. So that's a promising sign if we get to see those blow ups. I guess we'll uh, pause right here on the rocks really quick and look what he got him. A ribbon fish, son. Hey, that's pretty cool, you guys. Hope. We're gonna pause here for a quick second. These guys are going after ribbon fish. Let's see what we can do. Chris Jen, look at the end of the jetty. Lots of birds diving down over there. I'm gonna make my way over there. There's a whole lot of birds working the end of the jetty. I'm hoping that something's gonna be out there. I'm really in hot pursuit right now, y'all. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we've got some game fish working. All right, there's a lot of bait, small little bait fish. I see what the turns are actually catching right now. The pelicans are partaking in it as well. And the bait fish look to be about that big. It almost looks like shad. I'm gonna put this spoon away and we'll continue casting the Alios and Hollow Point. We got the same spoon set up. I wanna later throw a, a top water on this one or Maybe just swap it out for something completely different, but for right now, let's get this one in action, see what's actually pushing these bait fish up to the top. Lots of bird activity, y'all. Oh yeah, I just got tapped. It's ribbon fish pushing all the bait fish up. I just saw one go airborne. Got him. See what it is. Yeah, sand trout. Sand trout, son. Yeah. This is a little fella. We want to get something that's just a bit bigger, and we also snagged him. So foul hooked the fella. He must have took a look at it and then uh, accidentally got foul hooked. Sand trout and ribbon fish, like I saw clear as day, the ribbon fish come up chasing all the small little shad to the surface. It's a quick one hour update. My knot just failed me, but I kind of had a feeling whenever I was at home that I tied it incorrectly. It just did not look right. It lasted through one tiny little fish and uh, eventually going through all the guides, it just gave way. So we just retied that. Very tough to do out here in these windy conditions. 
with the line still uh, sp not spooled but with the line going through the guides and uh, trying to connect it at the end of the fishing reel and where the line well anyhow <laughs> let's get to fishing there hasn't been anything caught we're still seeing all the bait fish come up airborne the birds are out here still working picking off tiny what appears to be tiny ribbon fish that are coming up anywhere from two to about six inches let's uh let's still keep the fingers crossed i don't want to give up on the day conditions are still really good on this side of the jetty so we chose correctly as far as fish ability for us now as far as the fish go maybe they're in the rough stuff who knows but uh, as it stands right now we're going to continue slinging spoons right out here because it just seems like the right thing to do oh christian you see that the dolphin had a jack yes holy cow y'all these dolphins right here right out in front of us they one came airborne he had a jack about this big literally holy moly holy cow he's playing with the jack like literally wow i've never seen that i wish i would have had the big lens because then i could concentrate it but he that one right there there's two dolphins over there the bigger of the two has got that jack and he's just like playing with it i'm pretty sure the jack is dead wow amazing stepping down to the little bitty half ounce y'all see if that's going to be able to get us into some type of action i just don't believe that the game fish are here again today not too sure how far i'm going to be able to sling this thing out there because of how light it is and how heavy my line that i'm using is but we'll give it a good go four twist fisherman knot trilene whatever you want to call it cinch her down and let's clip that tag in we're ready to go y'all that clean water has almost made its way over here but because of the wind direction it's not going to happen i don't see that coming close enough if anything i think this will allow me to catch some of these ribbon fish that are out here and have a little bit of fun instead of just continuously casting for <laughs> for no reason everything that we've got so far today between myself and my son has been snagged so maybe this will change it oh we got him oh that's a fighter i was just brushing it through the water too Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. So, uh, I've just joined Christian's club. But he actually bit it. Christian actually snagged one of these gap tops. Well, this dude actually bit my darn spoon. You gotta be kidding me, bro. I was very surprised. I was like, oh wow, I got one. <laughs> Actually, I snagged him right in the corner. These Let me have the uh, the boga. boga? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, I was like really hoping. Yeah. That's just the kind of day it's been, y'all. Oh my gosh, I was really excited and pulling for maybe a speckled trout with how hard he was actually digging going down i didn't feel the head shakes the way a speckled trout did so i was or does so i'm like it's got to be something well obviously it's a darn gap top got another one this time it feels a little bit lighter i think we yep it's a ribbon no what is this another little sand trout Christian, sand trout, and this dude actually went after it. We got him straight through the mouth. Huh? 
He bit it. Well, that's pretty cool. Two sand trout. One snagged, the other one actually hooked. Oh, we got another one. This one's, he's fighting just like a darn hardhead. That hardhead that we caught before, it feels the same exact way. Or it's snag, what is this? That is a hard hit. It is a legit hard hit. <laughs> oh my god. What a day, man. Talk about a trashy day at the jetties, y'all. Good night. I can't believe this. I'm catching every trash species that we got out here. Hard head, gaff top, sand trout. You got the ribbon fish. Working on a full house. It was way too much drag with no head shakes or anything like that. I'd rather catch like trash fish than not catch anything at all though. I know it may seem like I'm fishing the bottom, but I'm not. I'm actually counting it down right before it hits the bottom and then just doing those twitches, making it look like a wounded minnow and all my trash fish buddies are keeping me alive in this game start making our way in that drizzles picking up pretty heavy I just don't see it happening for us today it was one of those uh, well it's just one of those special days the winds are also picking up the uh, the conditions are taking a turn for the worse but that was expected we already knew that that was gonna happen by midday the drizzle has picked up significantly and y'all caught what I already said to Christian so it's coming down pretty hard. We're gonna just get out of here. Just one of those days. So the conditions kind of worked against us today, but it's okay. We were able to get out of the house. Uh, once these fronts stop rolling through, the wind's coming from the north and kind of wrecking things. It pushes the fish out, in my opinion. I don't know if it's true or not. I just know what I experience whenever they do roll through this time of year. Spring is just a very tough time frame to fish if you don't believe me check out what i wrote last year this is my 2020 calendar find somewhere to visit not the best fishing time let's go over here to april 2019 find somewhere to visit yeah so i've been tracking this like a hawk and these are some very tough times we are living in right now thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it. man i just made a killer intro or outro and the GoPro just died all of a sudden. But what I was saying is like, it's not the best of conditions out there. Okay, take three. I did two killer outros and neither one of them did because this dumb battery right over here decided to die on me. But what I was getting at was uh, it's not the best of conditions. These rolling cold fronts that uh, bring winds in out of the north, they kind of wreck the fishing scene. So what we had the previous trip on the jetty some Spanish mackerel and then the presence of jacks coming and uh, they're all gone again today so not the best uh, in my experience they like the, the winds have a lot to do with what goes on out there in the water but whenever the weather stabilizes and we're able to get out there and truly do our thing maybe we're gonna show you a catch with a jack or so tomorrow I'm not too sure what's in store for us because it's more of the same weather high winds and rain 50 percent chance hopefully it gets downgraded whenever i wake up at four and we will see you then so thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate each and every one of y'all don't forget about the fishing show this weekend i will be at the old 18 booth on saturday and then on sunday the bugs booth so i would love to say hi to each and every one of y'all please stop by and uh, allow me the opportunity to thank you in person for supporting me and the channel, my family. We all love y'all. So until next time, tight lines y'all.